Yo, JD here. And as you can see, we are back on F1 22 as always. And in today's video, we are back with some more online lobbies. But this time, we're actually on PC because I've been spending pretty much all my time so far on PlayStation. I thought, why not explore PC, see what it is like. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. So you'll be seeing three separate races here today. These are my first lobbies I've ever done on PC for F122. So I'll be talking about my experience, showcasing it and yeah, giving you my thoughts on what I think the differences actually are between the platforms because surprisingly I feel there is quite a few significant differences differences that all definitely affect the lap time and especially with crossplay supposedly coming quite soon yeah it's going to be quite interesting but first of all just want to say as well thank you so much to everyone who joined these lobbies it was a lot of fun I will be doing Xbox this week as well. So if you want to be involved in these hobbies, then the best thing to do is to follow me on Instagram because I always post when I'm about to do open lobbies, normally giving a 10 to 20 minute uh, warning. Or if you join my YouTube membership, so if you click that join button and subscribe, one of the perks is that I do let people know in advance and they get a priority invite into these lobbies, along with discount and coaching and my update is set up some many more perks as well but yeah usually after the first lobby it gets pretty full and it's uh pretty difficult to get in once again so hopefully that will help you out but yeah i was just gonna say pc i actually think it definitely feels a lot better than f1 21 already in terms of the force feedback this is just by my experience as well. Obviously, people might have some different opinions, but the folks' feedback compared to 21 definitely feels a little bit more engaged on this itself. In terms of the frames and how it's running, of course, again, this depends on what PC and how good of specs you have. But for me, I'm running pretty much all low graphics here, which is something you probably do want to do if you're playing on PC, especially if you're going after performance, because it will help the game run a bit smoother it might not look as pretty or as good but it will give you definitely a much smoother experience which usually gives you better lap time as well um, so yeah the force feedback and the smoothness of the gameplay I was actually pretty happy with like I haven't changed any of my wheel settings or anything from PlayStation and it almost feels exactly the same I would say that the force feedback does feel uh, slightly more planted as this guy just yeah that's very nice of him but this is the the norm of online lobbies and I think you're about to see what karma means so as we come into here I think this is my teammate my teammate does what an awesome teammate does and yeah but but yeah I would say PlayStation feels uh, slightly more connected to the car. The one thing I've always not liked on PC is that it always feels like I'm driving a bit bit of a hovercraft, whereas, whereas on Xbox and PlayStation, as crazy as it sounds, I feel the force feedback definitely feels more connected to the car, which is insane to think. But PC definitely feels just a little bit more stable, as it typically does. I'm not sure why that is. Definitely more stable on the rear, but not as connected to the car. But the main thing... I would say in the PC, which you might be able to see in some of this gameplay, or maybe not, but is that compared to PlayStation, you cannot use the curbs really um, at all. I know we just use them here, but there are curbs on PlayStation that you can mount and attack quite a lot in the corners and get some good traction off, like the long left hand at Miami in the middle sector before you go on that DRS straight. On PC, you cannot do that whatsoever and um, the curbs seem to be incredibly sensitive on PC compared to PlayStation. I'm not sure what it's like on Xbox yet because I haven't tested it but it kind of makes sense that when I've been looking at the time trial times even with F1 eSport drivers as well 
PlayStation just seems to be a little bit faster in terms of the time trial and just the amount of people who are able to get a good time. Obviously on PC you still have the Xbox or the eSport drivers who are still doing great times, but even comparing myself, which time trial is usually not my strong point at all, I know there's quite a bit of time left in my lap times that I've done so far and uh, not really that much different. They still would have got me in the top 10 on most PC leaderboards, which you know, if you were going back to 21, <laughs> like when I was doing a time trial time, if it was a top 10 on Xbox, it would be pretty lucky to get in the top 50, top maybe even the top 100 on PC. That's how competitive it is. So yeah, maybe it's the amount of players or something like that, because it does, definitely seems to be a lot more players on PlayStation itself compared to PC but even just comparing the top players on PC to PlayStation maybe because we can run the curves much better on PlayStation that that's the reason why there's a little bit of difference in that time which I thought was quite interesting and again when it comes to the crossplay I would probably say right now that I would want to be playing on PlayStation <laughs> compared to PC which yeah you, you probably would never think that is the case but don't get me wrong play, PC does feel really really nice to play still and the force feedback and everything just doesn't feel quite as connected to the car and over the curbs it definitely seems to be a bit more sensitive um, over the curbs itself in terms of the traction but yeah in terms of my experience with these hobbies really really good fun as always very competitive as well and the pace straight away uh, again I'm using exactly the same settings that I have in the description down below and what I have on PlayStation in terms of the calibration the camera settings and the force feedback it just works straight away out of the box doesn't really feel I'm playing that much of a different game at all here but yeah as we move back into this race here now you can see we keep getting quite good starts in this race and we've made quite good progress at Bahrain here as <laughs> you can see people struggling on the uh, traction there as we now make our way up into P3 so after two laps we've gone from P16 up into P3 and this guy ahead of me called Ham Shank was just ridiculously fast on the traction zone so I don't know if he's using medium traction or maybe he's on the controller or something like that but yeah and we're all using the same setup here as well so I actually locked the setup so everyone is using exactly the same he was just getting unreal exits and never seemed to run out of ERS which yeah but I don't think it was hacking although we have seen that on the previous game I think he was just very very fast but yeah the level of competition seems to be pretty good most drivers seem to be uh, quite clean as well, which I've always found to be the case when I've been playing on play. Um, I keep saying PlayStation, but when I'm playing on PC, I think because a lot more people spend or invest a lot more in their equipment, uh, you normally have to build quite a good PC to run these games on Steam if you want to run it at a good frame rate. I think they tend to be a bit more respectful, um, I guess is the word. Um, to say at all but you can see we're just closing in on this top two here and yeah you saw the face from Austria our pace was absolutely electric when we went for that faster slap at the end this one here pace feels good but this guy called Ham Shank is very very fast and again we're running the same setup as well so yeah pretty uh interesting but very very good fun at the same time as well so we're just going to try and sit behind here because we know how important the ERS is probably the word I use the most when I'm doing a commentary <laughs> on one of these videos but ERS really really is your biggest weapon and if you can conserve that as much as you can and force the guy ahead of you to deplete his to under 10% then you're in such a strong position 
very very strong position both from a, an attacking and defending perspective so if you're defending from someone you have more ers the drs is not really that effective same with the slipstream so it just allows you to stay ahead of them and then if you have the drs behind and they have nothing to defend with then it's just going to be an absolute breeze in overtaking them so yeah, really trying to focus on that ERS management as much as possible as this guy now goes out super super out wide so again was thinking about maybe going for the attack here but thinking better of it and we're just going to try and recoup as this guy goes out wide as well so that's given us a free position but that has allowed Hamshank to have the uh, DRS so we're just going to stick behind him and go for a one lap shootout um, on the end but again here on the exit of this he just gets absolutely insane traction and then going through this corner we do go I think just a little bit wide but he gains two tenths of us going through there so we're using a bit here just to try and get as close as we possibly can and I thought he would be running quite low since he was having a bit of a battle with the guy behind so I was feeling quite confident for this last lap so we're using it here and I was just looking for that red light but the red light was not flashing at all so we decided to turn it off because I didn't think I'd be close enough even if I just continued it and again if I just wasted all my ERS here and he stayed ahead of me then it would pretty much be game over so I was really relying on him going under 10% at some point in the lap and you can see as we come off here we're trying to get a good exit but again just the traction he gets is just absolutely insane and then going through the corners as well just incredibly fast but coming off this corner this is the one where he goes wide and i feel like i've got a better exit but still again you can see by my face there if you're wondering what that frown was about it was just me being a bit confused really and off the exit of this corner we do get a bit of poor traction and he's actually just broken out of the DRS zone. So, yeah, fair play, Hamshank. Definitely very, very fast around Bahrain. You can see how much of a lead we have on everyone else. It looks like everyone else is just... God knows what's happened to them. I don't know if they've done a pit stop or something, but, yeah, they've had a few crashes behind. And, yeah, we're just going to keep on pushing here. And, yeah, I don't think we're going to get back within his DRS zone. And our exit here, we don't get a terrible exit, but yeah, again, I just couldn't understand it. He just absolutely rapid off the exit, so fair play to him. Very, very fast. But this is my final race that I did here, and we did a bit of a championship. So this is the final race for the championship in itself. So as a nice guy, again, just being ultra smooth on the power. And you can see we get a pretty good start compared to everyone around us. And... I will be doing a video on how to perfect your starts uh, fairly soon. I might save it maybe for after this patch if they do update the traction because it, otherwise it'll be a bit pointless. But we will keep an eye on that. And you can see we've managed to actually take the lead here whilst these two were squabbling. And I think we're going to show every lap here but just to show just feeling really confident on this game at the moment and yeah, I really can't wait for league racing on this game, which I probably will be doing league racing on almost every platform, uh, potentially. So the PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, we'll have to see how the schedule goes. But yeah, I will definitely be up for that. And yeah, really looking forward to seeing what I can do because I definitely feel compared to 21. 21, I felt just didn't really suit me that well to be honest but this game with the understeering nature and having to be patient and smooth on the power and having to manage your ERS as well it kind of suits me perfectly especially in race trim it couldn't really be any more better suited to me so again we're just going to stay ahead of this guy and avoid using the ERS only when we have to so these are the important parts where without the ERS you want to try and just have as much more speed as you can because the DRS and the slipstream 
uh, just not powerful at all. So I'm just going to try and force him to use his Eris to try and keep within my Eris zone. And then I'm just going to keep mine in reserve. And you can see we're still on 100% at this point in the race itself. And yeah, this track here now where it's been updated, I actually prefer this layout. It feels much, much more flowing. I think I've more opportunities to uh, overtake as well. It's got more fast sweeping corners rather than a dead stop. And then it's really, really hard to pick up the traction when you're right behind someone. But yeah, I really do uh, enjoy this layout. Definitely uh, much, much more. But yeah, coming through a chicane, just avoiding these curbs uh, on the exit. And let's see what lap time this is going to be. It's going to be a 19.5. Guy in third place does a 29.0. So we'll try and respond to that to get that extra point potentially on the next lap. But yeah, comparing PlayStation with PC once again, I would say they both run just as smoothly as, it, as each other. And they both feel really really nice to play but I just feel a little bit better connected to the car um, with the same force feedback settings and also I just feel it could be much more aggressive on the curves on PlayStation which I think could be the reason why maybe for the first time for a while that PC might not be the fastest platform and along with track limits which I haven't really tested too intensely yet but it does always seem to be definitely for 21 in the previous game that PC had the strictest track limits as well so uh, if you're looking to be as competitive as possible maybe a PlayStation <laughs> might be the platform of choice for you but that was my first impressions uh, between the two but yeah it does feel very nice to play on this platform and I will have to see what it's like on Xbox as we are now going to go for the fastest up of the race. So the guy in third does another fastest lap. Let's see how much faster we can go now. So just giving that extra 10% here, going completely fat out through this right-hander. And these are on default setups as well. So everyone is running exactly the same setup. Obviously you can just change the brake bias and the differential, which I have, which I think for this game now, you want to be running at maximum 60 on throttle and ideally 50% off throttle to get that maximum rotation in the slow speed corners as we're almost going flat out through here now. And yeah, a lot of people have asked me if my time trial setups are good for the race. And for me, they've been working incredibly well so far. Um, I haven't really had any issues with tire overheating at all. And the tyres definitely seem to be a lot less sensitive than F1 21. So, yeah, my time trial setups, like, there's no such thing as a race setup, in my opinion. It's about if it feels comfortable and good to you, then that's the setup you go with. As we go across the line here, what is this going to be? It's going to be 18.6. So, responding quite nicely. Got quite a nice lead now. And, yeah, we're just going to bring it home to the flag itself and yeah with these experiences of these hobbies it was a pretty fun experience and definitely feels a lot better than when I played F1 2021 PC it just felt very disconnected to the car and always felt like I was just kind of guessing when the car was going to step out of me whereas on PlayStation although it's still not perfect and you know, if you compare it to a set of course or R factor or something like that it's still not in the same league as that but for whatever reason I just feel much more connected to the car and yeah I think overall that's definitely going to help with that time along with the track limits and along with being able to take the curbs much more aggressively as well so as we come through into this final chicane you can see we've managed to do a pretty dominant race here and yeah i think we are going to take the w and go take this little championship that we did a series of eight or nine races um, that we did here so again thank you so much for everyone 
who joined these. I really hope to race you very soon on all platforms. Also, make sure you say out to buy bits because they are going to be doing another competition very soon where you can win a chance for more F1 paddock passes for future Grand Prix. So I really hope you look forward to that. Thank you very much for supporting the content. Please let me know what your thoughts are if you've had the opportunity to play on different platforms. What are your experiences on the differences between them? But yes, that is it for me. Thank you so much. And I will catch you very soon. Peace.